You're gonna, we, we will have fan questions coming up. Huh? We'll get there. Okay. Last, last time I was sitting up here was three years ago. So where was the organization three years ago? Or, organization was coming off an 84 win season. <laughs> that team had shown in 2019 had good players, but the team wasn't good enough. There wasn't a whole heck of a lot coming. You guys know that. You follow this organization. You know there wasn't a whole lot coming. So we had two choices, right? We could keep going. We could drive right off that cliff. You guys have seen big market teams do it before and end up rebuilding for half a decade. That's not acceptable. That's not acceptable to you guys. That can't happen in Boston. So what we had to do, what we had to do was find a way to turn that car around before we drove off the cliff. Now that's hard to do if you want to win at the same time. Now fortunately, we are blessed with great resources in this organization, always have been, have confidence that we always will be. So the question is, how do we get more young talent into the organization and still win at the same time? And that's what we are committed to doing, was building that foundation of young talent up at the same time as we used those resources in the here and now to try to give us a chance to win. So a lot of that, a lot of that we were gonna have to do the old fashioned way, right? Scout, sign, develop. We also had to think about some other things. And so the reason I say this is you ask about, you ask about the, the, the vision that I was talking about with Rafi. And this is why I think it's really important to make this contrast. Because at that time, three years ago, everybody knows it, we were faced, we had a similar choice, one year away from free agency, with a superstar player. And we, we didn't sign him. And I want to explain why, because it relates to where we're going. It relates to where we're going. We didn't sign up because when you make those bets, they're big bets. And those bets, hang with me here, hang with me here. Those bets, those bets usually, now y'all know it, you guys are smart. Those bets are much better up front and on the back end. We know that, every team knows that when they're making those bets. But if you want to make that type of bet, you better be ready to back it up. You better be ready to surround that bet with a whole lot of talent, a whole lot of young talent, or you're not gonna win. And you see it all the time in, that, in this game. You see it all the time. And I don't think anybody would disagree where the organization was. We just weren't ready to back up that bet. We weren't ready to back it up. We had to get young talent back in the organization. So we made the move that we made. We made the move that we made with Mookie. And we got Alex Verdugo. And we took all the resources that the organization provides us. And we added, after we had 2020, we added Kike Hernandez. We added Hunter Renfro. We added Athlon We added Gary Richards. We did all those things. We built that team the right way. With this guy's leadership, we almost got to the World Series. We kept doing that in 22, adding young talent to the organization. 22 didn't work out as well. We know that. I'll own that. And so now here we are, similar crossroads with another superstar young player a year away from free agency. We did something different this time. This time we made the bet. Why? We were going to have Rafi for 2023 anyway. But we bought 2024 and beyond. Why? Because we're gonna be ready to back up that bet. We're gonna be ready now with the talent that we have coming. Some of those guys up here on the stage, some of those guys that are not here yet, to surround him the right way so that we can get back to winning the right way so we never have to go through what we just went through again. Now I know not all those guys are here yet, but they're coming. We made that bet because as an organization, we're gonna be ready to back it up.